According to the Radiological Society of North America, children are more sensitive to radiation exposure than adults, so it's very important to protect young patients who need imaging tests done. We spoke to Dr. Nathan Holmes, a pediatric radiologist at Children's Hospital of Orange County, who talks about what he sees every day. Imaging plays an important role in um, dealing with children that are coming into the hospital with different conditions. We do MRIs for a lot of kids with seizures, and um, we also do some procedures in the radiology department specific um, for illnesses and diseases related to children. Kids, when they come to our department for different imaging procedures, um, we do treat them differently. We can't just uh, roll them up right underneath the uh, fluoroscope or put them right in the gantry uh, of the CT because it is scary to them. And uh, one thing we, we do is we work closely with the uh, Child Life uh, program here at Chalk, and our technologists are specially trained to deal with, with kids, so we do have to put them in an environment that they're a little more comfortable in. Um, and that's, that's a big difference between uh, pediatric imaging and imaging that goes on in an adult hospital. How do you calm a child down when they don't want to have an imaging test done? We'll try to talk to the kid in terms that they understand at their level of maturity or th their age and uh, try to explain to them what's going to happen, make sure there's no surprises to them. And oftentimes we also have to do the same with the, the, the child's parents because we see a lot of times the anxiety of the parents sort of gets transferred to the, the child in different situations, particularly, and we see that in our department with imaging. So we have to often explain to the parents so they understand and can help us along um, when we it, do it, perform an x-ray or a CT or a, a fluoroscopic exam. Reading images in pediatric radiology is a little bit different for sure than in the adult world. A good example is someone who comes in with uh, right lower quadrant pain, that's you know pain down in right lower corner of their abdomen. In the adult, the differential diagnosis is pretty long, but in the child, it's, it's usually a little bit smaller. So even though we may not have a really good history um, that an adult may be able to give uh, the ER physician or the radiologist, um, you have to tailor um, the, what you're looking at in the pediatric world. Dr. Holmes shares a patient's story. We had a, a an eight-year-old child present at an outside hospital uh, who had abdominal pain. Um, and underwent a CT scan, a CAT scan, um, of the abdomen. The way the CAT scan was performed at the outside hospital, they didn't use uh, intravenous contrast. When the child presented to our hospital, um, we did the examination again, protocoled it in a more specific way and gave contrast and we were able to diagnose um, a condition where the child's spleen had twisted on itself, which is very unusual, um, but by understanding what we needed to look at and making sure the CAT scan was protocoled correctly, we were able to make a diagnosis which was very unusual but really helped out um, the surgeon in knowing exactly what to do and what was causing the child's pain. When you have a child that needs an imaging study, let's use a CT scan for example, um, you want to be in an institution that tailors that CT examination specifically for a child. Because of radiation dose, we want to minimize uh, exposure to the child, to, but at the same time making a correct diagnosis. And we try to choose an imaging procedure that doesn't use radiation to begin with, like ultrasound. Um, and if that doesn't answer the question and we need to do something else, we'll do it at that time. Our new CT scanner that we have, we're seeing radiation doses that are between 40 and 80 percent lower than some other hospitals are hospitals we're getting uh, patients referred from. So part of it is our staff, our radiologists, really scrutinizing the radiation dose and minimizing it. The other part is the technology. We have the latest generation CT scanner which allows more adjustability, more ways to reduce radiation doses, whereas in the past that was not always a possibility. I've seen changes in radiation doses that are are being emitted from our CT scanners, that's going down, which is a good thing. 
Uh, additionally, MRI is also uh, advancing. MRI is prone to uh, movement and um, artifacts from motion, but it's improving. The protocols are improving. The sequences are improving in MRI. So I'm, I think we're going to see the use of MRI more in the future, not only because it doesn't use ionizing radiation, but because it's providing uh, great um, detail, anatomic detail, and uh, functional detail.